Welcome again to the continuation of the topic and cover. In the, pre in the previous videos, we were able to see introduction to Ancova, formulas very important in Ancova, Ancova table, and want to see how to solve questions on Ancova. Now, we want to look into one factor Ancova. One factor Ancova. And we have a question on it. This is a typical example of Ancova table. Now, before you solve question on Ancova and interpret it using the table, you must have your F table. F distribution table, it is a four-figure table we have. So when you get a four-figure table, you now go into where they say percentage point F distribution. So that is where you will get your F table. This is my own copy. Then, we have to solve the question. They say, given the following information from a one-factor Ancova involving three groups and eight observations per group. Source of variation, groups, error, X, Y, S, Y. Find the estimate of the slope, test for significant effect of three groups at alpha equal to 0 0.01. This alpha is called level of significance, which we say it is a maximum probability. Alpha is a maximum probability with which we will likely make type 1 error. Okay? So what you now do is that you now say H0, H1. A0 mean no hypothesis, H1 mean alternative hypothesis. Now H0 says there is no single difference in the effect of the treatment under study. H1 says there is no difference in the effect of the treatment under study. Now, for you to solve this, draw the table again. Now, this is source of variation. This is uh, X, this is Y, and this is X, Y. Then, this is your groups. This is your error. Then, this is 144, 208, 120. 175, 132, 140. Now, what you need to do is that you get your total. My total will be what? Total means add up everything. This plus this, 315. Yes. 300 and, 319 place. Okay? Because 4 plus 5 is 19, and 4 plus 5 is 9, 4 plus 7 is 11, right? 1 carry 1, 319. 208 plus 8, that will be giving you 340. Then this plus 8, that will be giving you 260. Okay? Once you're able to do this, you say that, yeah. The group zone is called T, the error zone is called E, and the total is called S. So the acronym we use is SET. S, I represent my S with as total, my T as the groups. So the implication is that we have TSS. TSS equal to 144. Then TYY equal to 208. Then TXY equals to 120. You come again. You say, let me get my EXX. EXX is equal to 175. Then E Y Y is equal to one thirty two. E X Y equal to one forty. Then we come again. S X X that is total for X three one nine. Total for Y. Total for Y equals to. 340 and total for XY equals to 
to sex thing. Then, since they said, find the estimate of the slope. Slope from a formula says so, um, E. Slope means E x y all over e x x e x y all over e x x e x y all over e x x that will be giving us 140 over 175 140 over 175 so you have to confirm it with your calculator. If you press this, it will be giving you 0 0.8. Okay? Then, we come again. We come again. We now say, what is our sum of... Because here we have adjustment treatment sum of squares. Adjustment treatment sum of squares. What is our formula? Okay. Let's get the one of adjustment adjustment total. Adjustment total is equal to what? We said that adjustment total is S Y Y minus S X Y all squared all over S S X. Okay, so how we got in this and we have our parameters here. We say that implies what is your S Y Y? You said 340 minus what is your S X Y 260 uh, squared all over what is your S X X 319. So when you compute this with your calculator and subtract it from this, when you compute it with your calculator and subtract it from this, we will be having here to be 20, we will be having it to be 128, approximately. Okay? Then, we continue. We now say, okay, let us Let us get the next one. SS error A. SS error A. Adjustment sum of errors. What is our adjustment sum of errors? We'll be having the formula is uh, EYY minus EXY all squared all over EXX. What is our E Y Y? That is one thirty two. Look at it, one thirty two. E X X. Let's write it well. That is one thirty two. E X X. E X Y will be what? One forty. One forty squared. All over. All over. E X X is what? 170, 175 place. When you compute this, it will be giving you your error to be approximately 20. Approximately 20. That is 132 minus 140 square over 175, approximately 20. So, that tells us that SS total. Uh, SS treatment, adjustment treatment, SS adjustment treatment will be equal to SS total minus SS error. That will be giving us 128 minus 20. That will be giving us 108. 108. Then, that is our result. So what we now do is that since the question says involving three groups and eight observations, 
It means that observation is 8 and the groups is what? 3. Okay? Okay? So what you now do is you can put, you now say, let us fill our table. Let us fill our table. For the one that says k minus 1, our k is 3, 3 minus 1, we have there to be 2. For the one that says k n minus k minus 1, what is k? 3. What is n? 8. 3 times 8, 24. 24 minus 3, which is your k, and minus 1. That is your what? 20. Here is 20, and here is 22. Okay? Then what is your adjusted treatment sum of squares? What is your adjustment treatment sum of squares? That is 108. What is your adjustment error sum of squares? That is 20 from our calculation. Look at it, 20. Then, what is our Adjustment total sum of squares, that is, add this to this, that is 128. 128. Then we come to this side. 108 divided by 2, that is how to get the one of mean of squares. That will be giving us 54. 20 divided by 20, that will be giving us Adjustment error mean of squares to be what? 1. Then, then, MS treatment over MS error, that will be giving us 54 over 1. That will be what? 54. That will be 54. This is our F calculated. Our final F calculated. Then, how do we get F table? How do we get F table? We say, they said, check at alpha equal to 0 0.01. Then, what is our adjustment treatment degree of freedom? 2. What is our adjustment error degree of freedom? 20. I will bring my F table. That is my fourth figure table. The first one is numerator. The next one is denominator. That is 2 is numerator and 20 is denominator. I will say 2 under what? 20. 2 against 20 under 0 0.01. That will be giving me 5.85. 5.85. Okay? So, we say that our F table is 5.85. That is what we get as our answer. Now, we need to conclude our solution. We now say, to conclude, we say, what is our F calculated is 54. Are you greater than what is F table? 5.85. Now, the information tells us that once the F calculated is greater than F table, reject no hypothesis. Reject no hypothesis. When you are rejecting no hypothesis, it means you are accepting alternative hypothesis. So, since this is greater than this, it is true that this is greater than this, you are rejecting no hypothesis. In order to accept alternative hypothesis, so we now conclude that there is significant difference in the effect of the treatment under study. That is our conclusion. So our conclusion is, say what we have as our alternative hypothesis. There is significant difference. There is significant difference in the effect of the treatment under study. As we said earlier on, Ancova is used to also get if there is significant difference in a given observation given to you or data given to you. So we have been able to show that there is a significant difference. If this is not true, if that 
if that is if that the L calculated is less than F star, we will accept a null hypothesis. If L calculated is less than F star, we will accept null hypothesis. But because what we got is greater, we reject it. So when you accept no hypothesis, it means you are rejecting alternative. But in our question, the calculated one is greater than the table one. So we are rejecting no hypothesis to accept alternative. There is a single difference in the effect of the treatment on that side. So your conclusion in this question is that there is a significant difference in the effect of the treatment on the study. Thanks for watching the video. This will be the final part of the Antover. See you in other topics. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and like my video. Keep in touch with our video. See you next time.